When we measure quantities in physics, there is always some uncertainty. No measurement is perfect. But what happens when we use these values in a calculation? We need to determine the uncertainty in the final result. That's what we'll learn in this section. How errors combine in arithmetic operations. Rule 1. In addition or subtraction, the absolute errors add up. For example, length is 16.2 centimeters plus or minus 0.1. Breadth is 10.1 centimeters plus or minus 0.1. Now area is length multiplied by breadth equals to 163.62 square centimeters. Next, find the relative error. Relative error in length is 0.1 divides by 16.2 equals to 0.6 percentage. Relative error in breadth is 0.1 divides by 10.1 equals to 1.0 percentage. Since this is multiplication, we add the relative errors. Total relative error equals to 1.6 percentage. So the uncertainty in area will be 1.6 percentage of 163.62, which we round off to plus or minus 3 square centimeters. Final area equals to 164 plus or minus 3 square centimeters. So, always report the result with its appropriate uncertainty. It shows both your measured value and the possible range of error, just like a true scientist. Rule 2. In multiplication or division, the relative errors add up. Let's break it down with examples. Example 1. You measure a small mass as mass equals to 1.02 grams plus or minus 0.01 grams. To find the relative error, divide the absolute error by the value. Relative error equals to 0.01 divided by 1.02. That is 0.0098, or about 1 percentage. Example 2. Another mass is mass equals to 9.89 grams plus or minus 0.01 grams. Relative error is 0.01 divided by 9.89 equals to 0 0.001, or about 0.1 percentage. Did you notice something? Even though both have the same absolute error, the relative error is much higher for the smaller mass. That's because smaller values are more sensitive to even tiny errors. Let's talk about something surprisingly tricky, subtraction and significant figures. Did you know? Subtraction can reduce significant figures unexpectedly and increase your uncertainty. Example, 12.9 grams minus 7.06 grams equals to 5.84 grams, in which 12.9 grams is accurate to one decimal place and 7.06 grams is accurate to two decimal places. In subtraction, the final answer should match the least precise value. That's one decimal place here. So, we round. Final answer equals to 5.8 grams. Uncertainty increases when you subtract nearly equal quantities. The relative error becomes larger. Here's a golden rule in multi-step calculations that every science student must know. Always keep one extra digit in intermediate steps. Why? Because rounding too early can introduce major errors in your final answer. Let's see an example. Let's calculate. 1 divided by 9.58 is 0 0.1044. Now don't round this to 0 0.104 just yet. Instead, keep the full 0 0.1044 for the next step. But what if you round it early? If you use 0 0.104 instead of 0 0.1044, then its reciprocal becomes 1 divided by 0 0.104 equals to 9.62, which is not equal to the original 9.58. That's a noticeable error, just because of premature rounding. Now you know how to handle uncertainty during calculations. This ensures your results reflect the true reliability of your data. Let's now explore a deeper concept, the dimensional nature of physical quantities. Coming up next, dimensions the physical quantities.